We begin this half hour with something very new about something very old, the skull of an ancient proto-human found where Eastern Europe meets Western Asia. Scientists who studied it say it profoundly alters and simplifies their understanding of human evolution. Jim Axelrod has more. From the moment they discovered the skull, buried under a village in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, scientists knew they had something applause-worthy. 1.8 million years old, this skull may do nothing less than rewrite the history of humanity. Jamie Shreve is the executive science editor for National Geographic. It's almost perfectly complete skull. Uh, and because of that, it has a lot of interesting information. Skull 5, as it's known, belonged to an adult male with a large jutting jaw and brain case less than half the size of a human today. Four other partial skulls were found with it, dating from the same time, but with great variations from each other. The same kind of variations seen in modern humans. We don't call modern human pygmies and Eskimos a different species, obviously, and so they think we should not call these things a different species, too. Meaning instead of many branches in our evolutionary family tree thought to lead to us, like Homo habilis and Homo ergaster, they may all have just been one, Homo erectus. You have to be really careful with this, because in paleoanthropology, you're measuring individuals in order to make conclusions about whole populations or a whole species. Like evolution itself, the understanding of it is a work in progress. For CBS This Morning Saturday, this is Jim Axelrod in New York.